If you had to choose between traveling alone or with a friend or your family, what would you choose? Well, I would first stay with somebody, but if you don't have anyone to go with because they don't want to go to the same place as you, or any other reason, you cannot stop going and miss that experience. Traveling alone affords you more freedom to do what you want, when you want, and for how long you want to do it. There are never any disagreements. You just do what you want because you are free to decide your own trip. Usually people are scared of traveling alone, but alone you are more likely to meet many more people along the way than if you were traveling with a friend. This is because you will be much more apt to make the initiative to meet other travelers and locals along your journey. Also, it's an excellent way to get to know yourself. But there is also a bad side. There are always some days when you can feel a bit sad and lonely because you're tired or you're just sick. In those moments, it can be nice to have that friend by your side to help you and to cheer you up. Uh, but nowadays, Wi-Fi is easily accessible all over the world. FaceTime, Skype and lots of apps more make it easy to connect with your friends or your family that are far away from you. This summer, I went to California, United States, uh, on my own, and it was a very big experience. I learned so many things apart from improving my English, like taking care of myself and not depending on anyone because I had no other choice. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about my trip. I was very nervous and excited uh, days before because I used to spend all my summers here at the beach with my friends and also travel with my family. But I had never done this, travels alone. The first time they asked me if I wanted to do an exchange with a California girl, I didn't know what to say. But at the end, I said yes. I was so nervous and scared when I traveled. I, was, I thought I was going to get lost at the airport or end up in another country. But when I saw a girl smiling and shouting for me with a cardboard with my name, I started to calm down. When I arrived there, I was surprised by how big everything was, the cars, the houses, the food, everything. The girl and the family I was living with was very nice and funny. They treated me so well and they took me to visit a lot of cool places, like Universal Studios, the Walk of Fame, Malibu, they became like my American family. One day we went shopping with some friends and I suddenly got lost at a very big shop without my mobile phone. I spent like three hours on my own looking for my friends. But in those hours I met a very nice guy called Mason that helped me find my friends and thanks to that we are very close friends now. Uh, I learned so many things during my trip and I met a lot of new people like Mason and a lot of them have become very important to me now. That is the thing that I liked most about my trip, the persons I met. In my opinion, if you are not totally convinced, just give it a go because if not, you will regret it and maybe you will not be able to do it again in the future. So I highly recommend this experience for everyone. You learn new cultures, you learn languages, you meet a lot of new people, and you learn how to do things by your own with anyone's help. Above all, it's an unforgettable experience. I am already planning my next trip this summer, and I'm sure it is going to be much better than the last one.